Nagisa Oshima. He's a fascinating filmmaker. He kind of began as Japan's Godard. Mm. Very experimental, very uh, polemical. Um, his films were very political. And she was playing with form. I mean, the, the early films are very, are almost non-narrative. There's one, uh, The Boy, The Man Who Left His Will on Film. That one is like pure experimentation. And I'm not even sure if it totally works, but it's brilliant. Uh, and then Death by Hanging is a really great satire. Then in the 70s, he moved more towards traditional narrative filmmaking, but it was through subversion that he got there. I mean, In the Realm of the Senses mm. is, is a really, really, it's a very simple film. You know, just what it's doing with the biopic, right, which is the worst of all genres. It's based on a true story about a woman who cut off her lover's penis and I think it's a film that everybody should see. It's a love story and it's it like functions as almost like as erotica but it's very but it's moving towards of course an act of terrible violence but it's so focused it's really only about this sexual connection between a man and, and, and a geisha. That's a brilliant film, great film and then he followed that up with this film Empire of Passion which is really wonderful and it's one of the great ghost stories and much like in the realm of the senses it's obsessively focused on this sexual connection and in that case it's just as illicit maybe even more so because it's a, a married woman mm. um, who's having an affair they, they end up conspiring together to kill her husband so it's kind of the postman always rings twice mm. and then it's a, it, and then it, it's about her both of them being haunted by uh, the ghost of the husband, uh, basically haunted to madness. There are just incredible images in, in this thing, and it's, the atmosphere is so dense, and, and uh, the music is so great. It's, so, it's a very strange, um, alienating, kind of misanthropic film. Yeah, this and In the Realm of the Senses are a great double feature.